example form, the black form. 3x plus 6 equals 3y plus 3. Y equals 7x minus 1. Oh, I see why this one is nice. 3x plus 6 equals 3y. Y equals 7x minus 1. All right. So again, we're looking for something that's an x equals or y equals form. That's that. So that's the one we're going to work on. We know that y is 7x minus 1. So I'm going to change y into 7x minus 1. I'm going to change that y. I've got 3x plus 6 equals 3 times 7x minus 1. Notice, again, like I said earlier, I didn't change anything else here. I've still got 3x plus 6, 3x plus 6, still got the equals, still got the 3. The only thing that changed is this y changed into 7x minus 1. It's the only change I made. Okay, this here is distributive property. So I've got to distribute the 3 through. So I've got to do 3 times 7x. Well, 3 times 7 is going to give me 21, 21x. And I've also got to do 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is going to give me 3. And what sign goes in the middle? Subtraction. Good. This here was subtraction. That's why it's subtraction there. Okay. Still got 3x plus 6 out here. Okay. Equation solving time. What's got to go to the left side of the sign? Victoria. 21x. 21x. 21x is positive. The opposite of positive is a negative, and negative looks like subtraction. So those out. 3x minus 21x, negative 18x. Okay. What's got to come to the right side of the equal sign? Hippolito. Six. six. Good. How am I going to move the six, Hippolito? Subtract. Subtract it. Good. So I'm going to subtract six from each side. Oh, and I'll have negative three minus six, which is negative nine. Multiplication equation now. How am I going to solve this multiplication equation? Hippolito? Divide by 18. Divide by negative 18. Now, yeah. I know why I put this problem in now. Okay? A lot of people look at this and say, oh, two. 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 No. It's 9 divided by 18, not 18 divided by 9. When you divide this, 9 divided by 18 gives you half. So x equals 1 half. 4.5 if you want to say that. Um, I'm guessing most of you are going to use a calculator on this assignment, and I wouldn't blame you. All right. um, 0.5 is obviously what you're going to want to use if you're using a calculator. Okay, okay so we've got half our answer. We've got to come up with the other half. Okay, so which equation do you want to plug this back into? The top one or the bottom? Um, K1. Bottom's a very good choice. You guys have chosen well. All right, so I'm going to change x into a half. Seven times 0.5 minus one. Half of seven is 3.5. So I've got 3.5 minus one, which is 2.5. So y equals 2.5. So one half, 2.5. Is it a worksheet? Yes, it's a worksheet. Okay. Check it out. 